Hey guys, Juliana Pilata here from CBRC. Uh, thanks for tuning in to this month's newsletter and uh, quick tip video. In this month's quick tip video, I'm going to be speaking to you guys about what an environmental site assessment is. So the purpose of an environmental site assessment is to identify potential or existing contamination liabilities on a property. Provincial ministries and departments uh, work, usually work in tandem with professional organizations and suppliers to develop common assessment procedures. Parties that might require an ESA report are uh, buyers, sellers, insurance companies, or lenders. Um, these can be completed at any time. Sellers may require or complete an ESA when they're getting ready to sell their property to find out whether or not there are any environmental constraints on the property uh, because this could impact the saleability or the price of a property. A buyer usually completes an ESA during their due diligence period uh, once they have an accepted offer in place. This will allow them to determine whether or not there are any environmental issues and whether it makes sense financially to move forward with the property. Property insurance companies may require an ESA report on a property um, to create a new insurance policy or for a buyer or to renew um, an insurance policy. Lenders might require one to provide financing to a buyer or to refinance a property. There are three phases in an environmental ESA. Um, so phase one is a site visit to observe current and past uses of the property and to assess whether there is any current or potential threat to the property. And if there is, they will usually move to a phase two. So a phase two usually, usually includes soil testing, um, sampling, drilling, um, and other tests to get a better understanding of the land, groundwater, and structures on the property. And then a phase three, if there are more issues that they do find, a phase three identifies the cost and strategy for remediation and environmental risk management. Um, and this can be quite costly. Um, so I hope this gives you guys a better understanding of what an environmental site assessment is and why it is important um, when evaluating a property. Thanks again for tuning in to this month's quick tip video. Um, if you guys ever have any questions, please reach out to Mark and I. We would love to hear from you. Otherwise, I'll see you guys all next month. Take care.